Hey guys, welcome once again to Galjay's Place. Today we are doing a pack opening of Magic the Gathering Corset 2021. Uh, we're excited with all the reprints. I hope you guys are as well. Uh, you know, we have Ugen is basically what we're trying to get right now. Uh, and a couple of other cards that, uh, that we need. Uh, so let's get started. Give me one second, guys. All right, guys. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, so we have, uh, we went to our local game store. Again, Wind Condition Games. Thank you very much for allowing us the opportunity to do this. Uh, they are selling this packs, obviously, for the pre-release kit. And because of COVID-19, they are unable to do the, uh, the midnight release and stuff like that. So essentially, uh, they just sold you the packs. Uh, and we got a good deal. Uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say how much I pay for these, but uh, definitely a good deal. Let me just tell you that. Uh, so, again, Ugin is one of the cards that we're trying to get here in the pack, alongside with other Mythics. I know for the core set, there's a couple of reprints. Uh, but, all in all, the Mythics have a lot of value in this set, and we're hoping to pull those. So, let's get started. Uh, we're going to start with one of the boxes. We'll leave the packs for last, of course. Um, any um, any code that we can redeem, <clears throat> I will put it in the video as well. Uh, so stay tuned so you can claim those in your um, MTGA account. Uh, so let's get started. Give me one second. Let me open this. Oh, these things are so nice. This smells so good sometimes. You know, uh, I've seen a, I've seen a few pack openings. Uh, my friend, he was the reason I bought this today. To be honest with you, he pulled a. He bought five kits, and he got um, he got Ugin twice, so I'm pretty excited and hoping I can get it. The box looks really nice as usual. Uh, you know, we're gonna take this out. Hopefully, we don't see what the what the card is. We'll put it face down. We'll put this to the side right here, and then we have our our six packs that it comes with. Uh, and then I was thinking about maybe in the future um, doing like what I would draft, I mean, not draft, um, maybe in the future I was thinking about, you know, opening the packs and building a deck right in front of your eyes, uh, just so I can get better at deck building, maybe get some tips from you guys, uh, and see what kind of deck we can come up with, uh, if we were actually playing the pre-release, I hope that sounds great, let me know in the comments, and I'll definitely do that, um, so let's see, the magic pack, let's start with that one, we'll start with, uh, Teferi, you know, that's another good card that we want to get, um, as I mentioned in my previous videos, uh, basically I don't play the paper the paper game anymore. Uh, unfortunately, I just don't have the time. But I do like the game. I play Magic Arena. I believe they have it backwards now where the rare is here. So I'm going to move some cards. Ooh, it's kind of hard to do it that way. Uh, we're gonna we're just going to do it like this. It's okay. So we have a Rugged Highland. Spark Hunter Masticore. This is a nice card, especially against all the planeswalkers that we're seeing now to fairies, uh, Narsets, Nissas. It has protection from all of those. It blocks Nissa lands as well. Uh, and then it's just a, an overall really good creature that any deck can play just because it's colorless. Uh, so we hit that was a nice pull right there. Uh, I won't be putting prices in this video uh, just because it's a little bit more time consuming and. Uh, but if I get enough requests, I will do that in the future videos. Uh, we have Chandra's Perling, Obsessive Stitcher, Reign of Revelation, Grass of Darkness. And it's a common now, guys. It used to be an uncommon. This is a really popular card back in the day, uh, Theros era. Uh, just really good removal, of course. Um, so, yeah, that was pretty good. Seems like a good pack as far as, uh, as far as, like, just, uh, sealed event goes that's pretty good we'll leave the rares here uh, we'll put this one to the side we'll leave the rares here on the side as well uh, if the camera's shaking I apologize uh, I just bought this new well my wife bought this new uh, hand and it's so cool but it's attached to the to the table that I'm leaning on right now so I apologize in advance uh, all right so we're gonna go with the token pretty cool art right there as well uh, we have island and I don't know if you guys have seen there's a there's a different art of the lands as well now you have the chance of getting like a rare well not rare it's like a basic land but it just has a different um different picture and we got trans transmogrify so it's a four mana sorcery 
Exile target creature. That creature's controller reveals cards from the top of their library until they reveal a creature card. That player puts that card onto the battlefield, then shuffles the rest into their graveyard. Or into the library, I'm sorry. Uh, so essentially, this is pretty good in like a token strategy where you have only a few selected creatures. Uh, you basically exile a token and you get your best creature because it's the only creature in the on, in the deck. Uh, so pretty good. There's a lot of strategies that have tried that in the past, uh, especially with the with the new Red Planeswalker. I forget his name, um, but he um, he used to do that, especially with the Agent of Treachery. Thank God that got banned, right? Um, but if you like it. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> uh, we have Witch's Cauldron. Uh, Quirion Dryad used to be very rare for some reason. Uh, Tolarian Kraken. Hunter's Edge. Infernal Scarring. Mestral Singer. Anointed um, uh, Chorister. Uh, so this is like... Uh, I've seen a lot of these and they all look the same. So I guess it's just... They all come like that. But you see it has a little bit different art. Or uh, I guess the, the border... It's a little different. Um, Defiant Strike, Ankle, uh, an <laughs> ankle Broker, Anok Ogre, Library Larcenist. No, why are you burning stuff? Not the library. All right, so on to pack number three. We'll put this one here to the side as well. I want to make sure we keep the rares together. Um, so, so far, so good. Uh, I don't know, again, I haven't looked too much at the values of the cards. Um, after I dropped out of Paper Magic, it, you know, I, have, I wasn't as interested in the prizes anymore. Uh, I'm just doing this for you guys. And I, and I was like opening packs. So uh, we have a Griffin as a token. Uh, we have Bloodfield Caves. We have a Foil, Scorching Dragonfire. This is a reprint. I'm pretty sure it was like on the last set as well. But that looks nice and shiny. Ooh, ooh. As right, so a two mana instant speed, uh, it deals three damage to target creature or planeswalker, and then if that creature or planeswalker would die, instead you exile it. And we have, ooh, Thief's Guild Enforcer. Uh, pretty cool one drop, especially with Flash. Uh, and then if your opponent essentially has eight or more cards in the graveyard, it gets plus two plus one. So and it has Death Touch as well, uh, if it has if it does that. Uh, and then when he enters the battlefield, your opponent mills two card. A lot of people are really happy that, uh, you know, they did kind of use the keyword now, mill. It's not really technically a keyword just yet, but they are using mill. Uh, I'm sure it's universal that everybody understands what mill is. And they're using that word instead of putting the top two cards into the uh, into the graveyard. It just makes it, it, makes it cleaner, in my opinion. Uh, so nice rare right there. Uh, meteorite, Teferi's Tutelage, Thrashing Barontodon. That guy's been in every set as well, it seems like. Uh, Hunter's Edge, Dub, Mr. Singer again, Drowsing uh, Tyranodon, uh, Liliana Stewart, Goblin Wizardry, Spent Megalodon, Rambuxious Mutt, and Burn Bright. Shine bright, burn bright. All right, on to the next pack. Let's see if we can get a Mythic. So far, no Mythic. Um, but that's okay, you know. Just the joy of opening packs is what I'm here for and talking to you guys. Uh, so we have a zombie token for the for the token. We have a planes. Ooh. We have a, oh, Vito. Uh, where does this go? Vito, Thorn of the Dusk Rose. So it's a three drop legendary creature. Could be a commander if you play commander um, or brawl. Uh, whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life. And then for five, all your creatures gain lifelink until the end of the turn. So I have been testing with this in Arena, and it's really, really powerful. There's a lot of one-drop uh, instant speed spells that gain you, like, four life. So that's one mana, four damage to the face, pretty much. Um, so that's pretty good. Uh, that's a nice that's a nice rare right there. Uh, Sanctum of Tranquil Light. So as you guys may or may not know, they started... Uh, a new cycle of shrine cards they're all legendary enchantments and they all have different uh, there's one for each color um, and essentially uh, it's kind of like slivers where they kind of buff off each other uh, based on basically how many shrines you have and I've also been testing with this on historic with the older ones and let me tell you guys I've got probably like a 90% win rate with that deck uh, and I've played against aggro. I will be uploading a video soon in regards to that. I'm editing it right now. But these cards are no joke. Especially with the with the new um the five color one. 
a sanctum of all is just insane. Uh, but essentially, they all do different things. The white one taps their creatures. Six seems like a lot. It really isn't. It really is not. Uh, once you have four mana and two shrines, basically that's that's all you need. And then again, they all trigger, it. so you get benefits from each of those. Uh, so we that's pretty cool. Um, Epitaph Golem, Watcher of Spheres, Golden Arsonist, nice reprint. Rouse and Reed, Radiant Fountain, also nice reprint. Run of Fowl, Pitchburn Devils, Legion's Judgment, Ranger's Guile, Gloom Sower, Burn Bright, and Keen Guildmaster. Not bad, not bad. If I ever do go back, I'll, I'll definitely build like a budget deck with, with the shrines. Uh, I think they're all going like for 34 cents a piece. Even some are cheaper than that. So I would not blink. I would not hesitate to buy into that deck. It's jank, but it's fun. All right, looks like this of coats. No, that one doesn't have a coat either. All right, so we have a Swampity Swamp. You know, we like them Swampity Swamps as well. We have Rada, Heart of Kelt, which is uh, a newer version of an older card. I don't remember what the old one used to do. I'm pretty sure I think it's when it attack, you get a green or red mana for each creature attacking. I think that's the reprint. All right, I, I guess that's the other version. Uh, but this is a three drop uh, legendary creature, Elf Warrior. Um, and as long as it is your turn, she has first strike. Or he or she has first strike. I mean, though we know it's a girl. Um, you may look at the top card of your library at any time, and you may play lands from the top of your library. That's pretty good. And then for six mana, she gets plus X, plus X until the end of turn, where X is the number of lands you control. Pretty sweet, especially with First Strike. Um, and then you have, you know, the Dryad that lets you play two lands per turn. So that's not bad as well, especially since you can play from the top. That's her fifth rare. Uh, we have Alpine Houndmaster. I played against a deck like that, and it was pretty good. It was a, um, what's her name? You know that, that human girl that whenever a non-human attacks, you get to look at the top six cards? They were playing the dogs with that, and I thought that was pretty cool. Um, Shipwreck um, Dowser, uh, Conclave Mentor, that's a really nice uh, card as well for Celestia, uh, plus one, plus one counters. Pitchburn Devils, Prismite, Fear of the Bin, Llanowar Visionary, Warden Battlements, Ordinary Plosaurus, Dilophosaurus, Dilophosaur, ha, huh, can't even talk, Sanguine Indulgence, Tome Anima, Concordia Pegasus, Crash Through. Nice, nice, nice. And we have the last pack here. Uh, so far, no Mythics, but that's okay. Um, none of these have codes. Uh, let me just double check off screen. Because I do want to, if I have one, I want to make sure to give it to you guys right now. Uh, so we're going to go for the last pack here. And then we're going to look at our promo card, see what we got. Um, there's a lot of value in this set. Uh, but a lot of a lot of bulk as well. So we have a zombie token, uh, no code, another Spark Hunter Manticore. This is again. I, I obviously we already got it, but if this would have been my sealed pool, uh, at least with these, it would have been super nice, super nice because they have a nice body. Uh, I could have played it in any deck, of course. That whatever colors I get. Uh, so. That would have been a nice, a nice thing to have. Um, Fungal Rebirth, uh, Carrion Grub. We already seen Watch of the Spheres. A sword, uh, short sword. That's a reprint. Cage Zombie, Spell Gorger Weird. Also a reprint. Wish Coin Crab. Life Goes On. So this is what the card that I was talking about with a veto. Uh, if something died, you pay one green. You gain eight life, and you deal eight damage to your opponent. That's pretty powerful. Not gonna lie. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, Pride Malking, okay. Crypt Lurker, cancel. Secure the scene and destructive uh, tampering. It looks like Kaladesh. It totally is Kaladesh. He says, I don't think they'll appreciate my adjustments. <laughs> Rigged. Uh, so let's go over the rares here again. Uh, we have uh, Rada, Vito, Thieves. Uh, uh, transmogrify and we have two sparking hunters so if I were to um, if I were to build a deck uh, obviously based on the rares it would most likely be the black but it really depends on the comments and uncommons that we got in the pack 
um, because that could definitely change. Um, obviously, this one we can put in any deck, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, and it's just an overall good card. So really nice pulls, I believe. I think I would probably do really good. Maybe like three one uh, the the pre-release with the with this deck. And now we have the promo code. Here you guys go. Uh, go ahead and first come first served, obviously. Uh, because you can only use one code, just to remind you guys, only one code per account. And you can only use each code once, obviously. So the first person to get it uh, will will get the code and get the pack. We'll put that here so you guys can see it while, while I'm up, when I'm doing this one right here. Uh, before I do that, though, of course, it does come with, with little story things and a divider as well. Uh, I didn't get a die. Did we get a die? Oh, we sure did. Here's the die. Nice black die, I guess. And then ready. Whoa, I have not seen this one. What is this? Maze Mind Tome. Uh, it is a artifact. It is put a page counter on Maze Mind Tome. Scry one, pretty good. Put a page counter on Maze Mind Tome. Draw a card. What? Put a page counter. So either or give you a counter. And then if you pay two, you draw a card. When there are four more page on Exalted, if you do gain four life. This is not bad, actually. Um, at least as a one-off, on maybe on a control deck, I would say. Or, I don't know. I really don't know where this would go. But, I mean, paying two to draw a card for four turns, if you're not using the other ability, that seems pretty good to me. And I believe there is a, um, isn't there like a blue-black creature that's a zombie and then you can remove counters from artifacts? So you could do that and draw another card. I think it actually draws your cards. We might have to look into that. That's pretty good. All right, so that was the first box. What did you guys think so far? Let's move these cards to the side. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the results so far. There we go. Now we're gonna get to open the second, the second box. Sometimes I do accents, don't mind me. Don't get insulted either. I'm not trying to make fun. I just love accents. Throw this away. Hopefully we get a mythic at least in one of these packs. We still have four more packs to open. Don't forget. Uh, but hopefully we're gonna uh, get a mythic. Uh, there's the mythics are where the value is. That seven drop artifact that uh, basically lets you tap mana for any color. Though that one's good too. That one's valuable. Um, so we have the two die, one black, one white. Uh, and then we have the promo code and the rare card here, or mythic, hopefully. Um, so we're going to start with, uh, let's see, who do we like? Uh, wow, no Garouk packs, I don't think. Let me see on the other side. Is there not a Garouk pack in the front? I would think that there would be one for each Planeswalker. Uh, we're going to start with the fairy again. We're going to leave them on this side now, so we don't get him... Uh, you know, mixed with the other cards, not that I would, but, um, so anyways, how are you guys doing? Talk to me. Uh, Zombie, Rugged Highland, just like we started before, and we have Joel Rael, Joel Rael, Monvoli Recluse, it is a two-drop legendary creature, human druid, a lot of legendary creatures in this set, I've noticed. Uh, whenever you draw your second card each turn, you create a 2-2 two, two green cat creature token. Not bad. And then for 6 mana, until the end of turn, creatures you control have base power and toughness XX, where X is the number of cards in your hand. Wow. Not bad. Not bad for a rare. Light of Promise. Cultivate. Really, really nice reprint. Uh, especially Ramp is really popular right now, and this just, you know... It's like icing on top of the cake, you know? Uh, Reign of Revelation. We already seen Mistral Singer, Dub, Sabretooth Mauler, Shock, Reprinted, Ranger's Guile, pretty good reprint as well. Rise Again, Burn Bright, King Guildmaster, Staunch Shieldmate, and Bone Pit Brute. Pretty cool, pretty cool. If I'm going too fast, you know, you can always pause the video, guys. Uh, we're obviously focusing on the rares because uh, that's where most of the value is. There are some cool... Comments and uncommons, of course, uh, and we'll talk about those, but most of them are not 
they're more for sealed. Um, I'm more of a standard player myself. Uh, I do play historic and standard on arena. Uh, band player, if you guys ever want to challenge me, I'll be more than happy to play with you guys. And if you played against me and lost, well, at least now you can thumbs down my video, right? <laughs> uh, so we have a planes. We have, ooh, ooh. I forgot what they're called. They have like a different border. Bass Threes, Lieutenant. It is a four drop. Looks like a little misprint maybe because it looks a little faded here. I don't know. What do you guys think? It's a creature, human knight. Vigilance, protection from multicolor. For protection from Teferi, basically. When he enters the battlefield, you put a plus one plus counter on target creature you control. Including itself if you want to. Uh, whenever he or another creature you control dies, if he had a plus one plus one counter on it, you create a 2-2 two, two white knight creature token with vigilance. So kind of like the the moth, uh, similar to that as well. Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, we have a reprint here in Kite Self Rebooter. I think we have seen that one. Jeskai Elder, reprint as well. Malefic, Malefic Scythe. Uh, whenever Scythe enters the battle with a soul counter, uh, equipped creature gets one plus one for each soul counter whenever the creature dies. Oh, okay. So as the creatures that you're equipping it to keep dying, it just it's like it's sucking its soul like that. And then it gets bigger because it sucks souls. Forgotten Sentinel. Not bad. Mine Rot. Daybreak Charger. Truffle Snout. Rookie Mistake. Finishing Blow. Titanic Growth. Walking Corpse. Spined Megalodon. That's pretty scary. Oh, you know, I hadn't read the type. I was going to say, that looks like a shark. Shark Tribal, and it is a shark, and he also has Hexproof, which is pretty awesome. And every time he attacks, you scrap one. Not bad. It is a 7 drop, so it's more of like a like a bomb sealed uh, card, but never going to make it in standard. But, you know, nowadays 7 mana is not a lot. And then we have Rumbuctious Mutt. What a mutt. Uh, Liliana. Let's see what Liliana brings. You know, she's already attacked her brother, killed her brother, killed Nicobolas. Killed Gideon. Try to kill herself. Kill Gideon in the process. Ah, uh, you know, we all miss Gideon. Knights. Jungle Hollow. We have a foil wall of ruins. Uh, scribe one when he enters the battlefield. And it's an 04. We have a... We have a Kervek the Spiteful. It's a four mana legendary creature. Human warlock. And then other creatures get minus one, minus one. So... Uh, make sure that it, you understand that it does, uh, obviously, do your creatures as well. Uh, so don't play any X1s because they will die. Unless you want them to die, then then play them. Play them all along. Do whatever you want, you know? Don't let me tell you what to do. You do you. Uh, not a big fan of this card, to be honest with you. I don't see... Uh, a lot of people are kind of talking good things about it. Obviously, it's really good against Mono Red, but Mono Red would probably just shock it before they play anything else. Um... Overall, it's an okay card, but it's not that great. All right. Uh, we have Hellkite Punisher, another 7 drop. Faith, Fate's Fetters. Leaf King Avenger. Another Radiant Fountain. Spellgorger Weird. Cage Zombie. Sky Scanner. Rousing Reed. Ooh, we have another altered uh, border, Liliana Stewart. That's pretty nice. Uh, Claws of Dremel, you know, the meme. Everybody knows about the meme by now, I hope. Uh, this is a really good card. <laughs> Let me just tell you that. That's all I have to say. It's been printed a million times, and every time it just dominates standard and older formats. Best card in, uh, in Legacy, for sure. Um, let's see. Now we have a demon token creature. Uh, we have a Dismissal Backwater, Sublime Epiphany. Uh, there's mixed feelings on this card just because of the mana cost, but it's like Cryptic Command. I mean, obviously Cryptic Command is a four mana spell. It is triple blue, so it's one less uh, mana restriction there, uh, here, but it does give you a little bit more options and you can choose more than two modes. Oh, sorry, I keep hitting the, the camera, I apologize. Um, so this one, you choose one or more, so you can choose all of them. You can counter spell, counter target activator, trigger ability, return target non land permanent to its owner's hand, create a token that's a copy of target creature you control, and then target player draws a card. Pretty, pretty good. Uh, I wouldn't run more than one in a deck. Um, 
and it would probably copy a dream thrower. That's what that's what it would copy. Um, not bad. We have Light of Promise, another Cultivate, Liana's Devotee, Inferno Scarring, Basri's Acolyte, so another uh, Altar Border there, Gnarled Sage, Cryptic Lurker, we saw that one, uh, we saw Titanic Growth, Walking Corpse Cancel, Secure the Scene, Destructive Trampering, Read the Tides, nothing good there, nothing good there, except the rare. <laughs> Oh, no mythics. Come on, guys. Oh, 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 oh. There's something here. Oh, it's a token. It's a 4-4 four, four angel token. Pretty cool looking. I remember when they started doing the full art tokens. That was that was nice. Uh, we have another Turnwood Falls. We have Shackle Geist. It is a flying. Can, can only block creatures with flying. You can tap two spirits to tap target creature you don't control. Not bad. There's a lot. I, think, I feel like there's a, a couple of spirit makers here in the set. Not this set, but just in standard right now. And not sure if this would go in any of the older formats, to be honest with you. Uh, there's way better angels than that. Uh, but if you, I don't really play older formats. Uh, so if that's like a good card for it, just let me know in the comments. Um, Evigor uh, Evigorating Surge. Three drop instant, put a plus one counter on target creature you control, then double the number of plus one counters on that creature. Not bad, not bad. Uh, Siege Strike, Vol Volcanic Geyser, Life Goes On. And on Gale Super, Sky Scanner again, Goblin Arsonist, Rousing Reed, Blood Glutton, Satessin Training, Read the Tides, Felder Seed, and Thrill of Possibilities. Um, a lot of reprints. Uh, let me just tell you that. Oh, look at this girl. She looks like my wife. I say that all the time. When I first when I first got this mat, I said, That's my wife right there. Ah, don't look, don't cheat. Don't cheat. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are gonna cheat, but anyways, okay. I'll still show it afterwards. Uh, soldier, this is the well. It's not foil, but we've got our first alternate border basic land. Not gonna lie, the best, in my opinion, the best ones that they have come out with are the Thoros ones. I know some people say they look like Pokemon cards, but they just look very nice, in my opinion. And foil, oh my gosh! All right, we got a temple. Our T Impel. Never want to draw those. Not people are not very happy with those right now. Uh, Witch's Cauldron, Temper Veteran, Havoc Jester, the Goblin Arsonist, Short Sword, Finishing Blow, uh, Truffle Snout, Ranger's Guile, Rise Again, Valorous Steed, Thrill of Possibilities, and Capture Sphere. So all in all, we didn't get any Mythics. Uh, I was really excited to hopefully pull one. Uh, again, we still have four packs to go, uh, but we wouldn't have gotten any mythics in our pre-release kits, and that's not bad. My friend, he opened five, five of these, and he got two Ugins. One was a promo Ugin, the other one was a regular uh, alternate border Ugin. Uh, he got the seven uh, cast artifact, and. Um, and the Grim, whatever, the book thing that lets you search. Grimmer, I think is what it's called. So I got a lot of Mythics, and I got excited, so I went to buy some packs. All right, so uh, let's go over the uh, the rares again. We'll keep this over there. Uh, we have Temple of Epiphany, Shacklegeist, Sublime Epiphany, Carvec the Spiteful, uh, Basri's Lieutenant, and Joel Rael, Mwambuli Recluse. Uh, looks like we have a lot of nice blue cards, uh, but but no mythics. That would have probably been a hard a hard pre-release to do. I'm kind of glad I didn't. Uh, so obviously you saw it was here, so you probably already saw it. But again, first come, first served. Uh, here's the other code. I'll leave it there for another couple seconds, uh, and then um, I'll move on to the. Um, the promo card. All right, so I'll leave it here as well. Where did I put the other one? Here, I'll keep those on screen for you guys. And our promo is whoosh, Ghostly Pilfer. 
He's a two drop creature spirit rogue. Whenever it becomes untapped, you may pay two. If you do, you draw a card. Hmm, that's actually not too bad. Uh, whenever an opponent casts a spell from anywhere other than their hand, you draw a card. That's not bad. Discard a card. Can't be blocked. That's pretty good, actually. It's better than I thought. Not as good as I would want it to be, but still pretty good. Uh, let me see if there's any codes in here. I don't think so. Do you guys know if they put the, the things on the tokens again? I don't want to be like wasting y'all time. All right, so we're gonna open the next, the next four packs. The last four packs, I would, I should say. And then uh, we're going to start here with the fairy. So let's let's start with the fairy. Let's hope we get Ugin, not the fairy. Oh, what? That's weird, right? So the box, the box has them the right way, where the uncommons are first. I mean, commons and uncommons, but the pre-release kits have them backwards. That's uh, that's pretty interesting. Not sure why they did that. Seems like a lot of work. <laughs> Stone. We've seen most. We've seen most of this by now. Ranger's Guile. Uh, so we'll go into the uncommons. Uh, Paladin Mirror. Pretty good reprint. Uh, good for ramp. Shipwreck Drowser. Or Dowser. Prowess. Sanctum of Fruitful Harvest. This is the second. I haven't really paid attention, but I feel like this is only our second shrine that we've pulled in all those packs. That's insane, right? A temple! Yay! And we have a goblin wizard. Weird looking goblin. So we have another temple right here. We'll put those here. Not bad, not bad. Looks like my shrine deck is coming together along pretty nicely. Only have to buy the rest. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, so we have Bone Pit Brute. Oh, Frost Breath, oh, we hadn't seen that one. Mask, Backguard, Blackguard, Flash, Human Robe, <laughs> Flash Deck. Alright, so in comments are going to be Meteorite, Thrashing Barontodon, Tide Skimmer, and... Oh, I saw blue and I got excited, guys. I thought it was going to be the fairy. He actually is the fairy, but... Just his ageless insight, not the actual Teferi. So it's a four drop legendary enchantment. If you would draw a card, except the first one you draw in each of your turns, draw steps, um, draw two cards instead. Hmm. Not bad. Also, not good. Don't know what deck would want that other than, obviously, uh, the Tutelage. Uh, the Tutelage deck. So far, it's been bam, but that's okay. We've seen most of these cards already. I will just talk about the ones that we haven't seen, like Alchemist Gift, a Snare Spinner. We have a Teferi's Protege with the alternate art or alternate border, I guess. Um, we've already seen that one. Uh, Pestlin Haze, Skyway Sniper. Conclave Mentor, and whoosh, another Veto guy. Not bad. We are we're building both of the decks that we're playing on Arena right now. How nice is that? Uh, that is our third rare. And we have one final pack. One final pack that we have. Uh, so hopefully, this will be the Mythic, right? You would think that out of all this packs, we would get a Mythic. But sometimes, that's not the way the cookie crumbles. As Jim Carrey would say. Uh, so we already seen those. I'll still go kind of fast, but still enough time to give you guys time to read it. Life goes on. Experimental Overload. We haven't seen this one. Uh, create an X, X blue and red weird creature token where X is the number of instant sorcery cards in your graveyard. 
then you may return an instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand and then you exile this one or else it would just go in an infinite loop as an additional cost to cast a spell sacrifice a creature trample when into the battlefield each opponent sacrifices a creature mm. uh avon gilmasta and we have glorious anthem i'm pretty sure this is a reprint uh, as well uh it had a different art this art is probably my favorite I think before you had the art of this people going like, ah, attacking them. But now this is the other side, the reverse side. Now this is the angels are, are like, ah, they, they do that. They, I don't know why they sound like that, but they do that. Uh, Glorious Anthem is an enchantment. Any, all your creatures get plus one, plus one, regardless of color. So pretty cool. And we have a foil. Read the thighs. Read them thighs. That's what, uh, that's what uh, Shakira would say. And then, of course nothing else i'm gonna look through here see if there's any codes i don't think so no codes i don't think they i don't think they print them in the tokens anymore i think they just have that one oh if you guys don't know what tapping is there it is it teaches you how to tap uh all in all uh I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty sure these are worth a pretty penny right now. I'm sure they're going to go down eventually. Um, there's obviously a life gain deck out there right now. So pretty good addition to it. Um, but other than that, I don't see it doing anything else. Maybe in older formats with, you know, the combos of like uh, the enchantments that when you gain life, they lose life and so on. Um, so yeah uh thank you guys for watching uh if you guys don't already follow me i also have a twitch account that's galj007 i'm also on instagram and twitter uh aside from youtube so make sure you check those channels out as well we'd love to have you there uh we play a lot of like role-playing games in in our ps4 and computer uh also from time to time i stream magic the gathering um when my computer allows it because <laughs> it's you guys know how it is right um uh, but all in all, guys, I appreciate your time for being here with me today, uh, and I hope to see you in the next one. Uh, I'll do this one for I'll do something like this for every pre-release. I may do I may buy more maybe in between if I if I get the funds. But as of right now, I'm just doing it whenever there's a pre-release. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, make sure if you do, make sure you leave a like um, and a comment so I know what you guys think. Thank you very much. You guys have a blessed day. Later.